everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how to make delicious red snapper. This recipe right here, so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients, and you know, make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my red snapper before. You better make yourself. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Of course, you're gonna need some red snapper. Take a look at this beautiful red snapper that we have here, and it's whole. We're going to be cooking this whole. You will need some flour. So over here, I just have some all-purpose flour, and honestly, if you didn't wanna use flour, you can use potato starch. You will need some veggies. So right here, we have a nice sweet Vidalia onion. We have some butter and two bell peppers. We have green and red, and let's make our way back over this way. You're gonna need some serrano peppers, jalapeno peppers. We're gonna need some lemon. On the side of our fish, we're gonna have some corn on the cob and a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. You will need some chicken powder. Now, we have some hot sauce. You can't have fish without hot sauce. Let's make our way over this way. You're also gonna need some Sazon. Sazon is gonna give you a beautiful color and a great taste. You will need parsley flakes, can have fish without Old Bay seasoning, garlic powder, black pepper and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, I couldn't be more excited for this here recipe. Not only are we gonna fry this fish, whole, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt and pepper it. If you don't know what I mean, you can always go and check out my recipe for how I made the salt and pepper shrimp and the salt and pepper chicken. The salt and pepper chicken is over the top and this right here is over the top as well. Here's the first thing that you wanna do. Make sure, of course, you wanna wash off your fish, okay? Get the inside nice and clean, just like so, okay? So now, we're gonna score it gonna put some score marks in it so we can get seasoning down in there. Oh, listen here. You want a good fish recipe? This is it. Those of you, I know there are so many people out there that has been asking me, Gina, when are you gonna make red snapper? Well, today is your lucky day. So here's what we're gonna do, just like so, okay? And then we're gonna flip that bad boy over, put some more score marks on it, just like so, so we can get that seasoning deep down into the flesh of the fish. Just like this, I'm gonna do this one in the same way. Oh, I couldn't be more excited. I'm gonna do the other side and I'll be right back. So now that we have our fish nice and scored, let's go ahead and season the fish. Now, remember, we're gonna get down into those cuts that we put in the fish. We want this fish to be very flavorful. Okay, but here's what I wanna do so I don't have to keep touching the fish and touching the spices. We're gonna take that one Sazon pack, we're gonna put it right there into this bowl. Great color and great flavor Sazon will give you. Garlic powder, don't you dare be afraid to season, okay? You're gonna need some Old Bay seasoning. What is fish without Old Bay seasoning? We're gonna use some black pepper. Oh yeah, just like that. And we're gonna use some salt. Okay, don't use too much salt. Your loved ones can always put, you know, more salt in if they like. Now we're gonna go in, I'm just gonna mix it up just like so. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go down, deep down into these holes. Look at that. Get that seasoning down in there. We're gonna let this soak for at least a half an hour before we even cook it because that's how much I want everything to soak down into this beautiful protein. Look at that, okay? Just like so. Oh my word. Come on in on this side just like this and here's the thing if you want to use a little lemon pepper i might grab some lemon pepper and sprinkle on here any spices that you love then guess what that's what you're going to use you never have to use the same spices that i decide to use use what you and your family members love we're going to open this up look how beautiful that is 
get deep down in there just like so. I'm gonna do this other side and I'll be right back. Beautiful, look at that fish. Okay, everyone, so we let the seasonings kind of seep down into the fish for about 20 minutes. Take a look at it. Very well seasoned. Look at this beautiful fish we have here. Simply gorgeous. So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and take the flour, or like I said, potato starch. Use it if you like. And we're going to lightly press our fish into your potato starch or your flour. And we're gonna open it. We're gonna go in just like so. All right, but what we are gonna do is give it a nice shake. Okay, whoops. That thing is heavy. This is a big fish, all right? Just like so. Beautiful, that's what your fish should look like. Let's do the other, same thing. Open him up, flour him up. And I have no seasoning in the flour. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not needed. It's not needed. And the reason why I say that is because we season this fish so well, you don't need to season the flour also. Okay, give it a nice shake. Just like so, I have some oil on the stove behind me and it's heating up to 350 degrees. When I come back, we'll get this in the oil and then I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, so we have some vegetable oil that is being heated up to 350 degrees. We're gonna give this fish over here a nice shake, just like so, and we're going to lower it into the oil, just like so. I'm hoping that I can put two fish in the oil. If I cannot, then I'll just have to do two separate fries. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and try. It's worth it. Oh yes, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna cook this until one side gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown, and then we'll give it a nice flip just like so. Okay, everyone, so while our fish fries up, we're gonna go ahead Start to cut up these veggies because the veggies are very important for your salt and pepper fish. Now, here's what I like to do. I like to cut the veggies into circles like this. You can chop them up if you want. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Now, I use the different colors for decoration purposes. Let me take this out here. Well, let's see. I tell you what, we'll use that. Okay, let's get rid of the seeds. Like I said, the different color bell peppers are for decoration purposes. It makes the dish pop, makes it very colorful, and also gives you a great color. Great taste, all right, just like so. Look at this, oh, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, I couldn't be more excited. The last time I made a salt and pepper dish, it was the salt and pepper chicken and my family went absolutely nuts over the whole recipe. Now we're gonna tackle some of the onions as well. We're gonna saute up these onions and bell peppers, not too long. You just wanna cook them enough so that they're not hard any longer, okay? You don't wanna cook them until they're uh, too soft, okay? You still want them to remain nice and vibrant and beautiful. So in my pan that I have next to me, right here, I have some vegetable oil in the pan. We're gonna turn this up on a medium heat and we're going to cook our onions and our two bell peppers and also our serrano and our jalapeno peppers when I come back. Before we go any further, I just have to show you just how beautiful the fish is. It's not done, I do want you to see the bottom. Look at that, not done, but we're getting there. Look at that, ooh wee! And listen here, it's gonna be so flaky and tender in the inside. So we put our bell peppers and onions right here in the pan, take a look at it. I've already started sauteing it up, and like I said, we're not gonna cook it to where it's soft. We just, um, yeah, yeah, we, we just wanna take some of the, you know, the hardness off of it, but we're not trying to get any color onto it. Here's what we're gonna do next. Let's go ahead and cut some of these jalapeno peppers. You have to have it. Those of you that have family members or if you don't want the heat, don't use it. You know, and really it's gonna be that simple. Okay, jalapenos going in, just like so. 
Oh yeah. And then a couple of these serranos. Let's address the serranos as well. We're putting the seeds in and all. Just like the serrano has a great taste. If you never taste them before, give them a taste. All right, look at that. Woo, here we go. All right, and then we'll go over to that beautiful fish and give it a nice turn. Gorgeous, let's turn it over. Very gentle, very gentle. Just like so, I'm using my hand to assist me. We'll get it turned over. There you go, look at that, my goodness. I'm gonna turn this one over just like so. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. So now that our fish is almost done, let's go ahead and take this time and make our salt and pepper mixture that is absolutely delicious. Here's what we're gonna do. So, take a look in the pan. This pan is where we cooked our veggies. And here's what our veggies look like. And they're not too mushy, they are perfect. And they still have some nice bite to them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add, let me turn my heat down a little bit. We're gonna add a stick of butter and this oil is seasoned with all of those peppers and the onion flavor. Go ahead and put a stick of butter in just like so. We're gonna get it nice and melty. Okay, you could use a half a stick if you like. We're gonna go in with some beautiful parsley. Parsley is not for the flavor, the dried parsley, just to give it some color. So at this point, I've actually turned the burner off so that my butter doesn't burn. We're gonna put a nice amount of garlic powder in. Oh, 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 oh. ooh, that's for flavor. We're gonna put some black pepper in, just like so. Give me a second and I'll be right back. So what I want to do was grab some coarse salt. I know when I showed you the ingredients, I, sh I showed you the sea salt. We want to use coarse salt. This is called salt and pepper fish. And I feel like using the coarse salt tastes better. Okay, so we have the coarse salt. We're going to put it in with our oil, our butter, our parsley flakes, garlic powder, black pepper, and the salt, just like so. I'm gonna give it a nice mix up, just like this. And then, to make it really poppin' flavor-wise, we go in with the chicken powder. Listen here, the chicken powder is no joke. It is delicious. You only need that little bit right there. Once you mix anything in this, your family members are gonna go nuts when they try it. Mix some shrimp in there. Mix some chicken in there like I did. And don't forget to check out my video for how to make salt and pepper chicken, salt and pepper shrimp. When I come back, I'm gonna take that fish out of the oil and then I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, everyone, so we have flipped our fish and some of you might wonder, so how do you know when it's done? Listen here, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never time it and what I do is I look for that perfect color on both sides and right now we have created the most perfect color you could even imagine on both sides. Here in about two minutes, we'll take it out just like so. Take a look at our fish. I am so excited. Our fish is done and it is beautiful. Look at that. And like I said, you just cook it until it gets the color you want. So now over here at our sauce that we just made, I've scooped it up into a measuring cup. Now here's what you do. Here's what you do. Oh baby, all of that flavor, you, as you thought it was seasoned enough just when you thought it was seasoned enough. Go ahead and put you some more seasoning. We got that chicken powder, we got that parsley, we got the garlic powder, look at all of this. Look at this. This is what you call salt and pepper fish, Gina Young style, make you some. Oh yeah, <laughs> woo! Take a look at it everybody. Gina Young, whole snapper, salt and pepper, Gina Young style, make you some. Red snapper. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. 
Let's go ahead and say a really quick prayer and you all are gonna get that first bite. Heavenly Father, we wanna thank you for another beautiful meal today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen again to my beautiful prayer. I'm going to give you all a first bite. I know you guys. <laughs> they, they know. <laughs> they know when the video is over. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. I'll give you a snack. Hold on. Be good boy. Hold on, hold on, okay? Be good. <laughs> okay, come on in, guys. Take a look. This couldn't be more beautiful. Look at that. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going right in on the platter. Oh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over so you can see, oh, look at that gorgeousness. Woo, if that right there, hold on, I gotta take it up for you because I know, I know you wanna bite. <laughs> Ooh, look how flaky. Look at this gorgeousness. And here's what we're going to do. Let me flip it over. Take a bite. And there's where all the seasoning is. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. Get your onion on there if you want. Take a bite. Let me know what y'all think. Oh, yeah. I know. You want one more bite. Okay. One more bite. Show you just how flaky it is. My goodness. Look at this gorgeousness. Ooh, you never had anything like this. You better make you some. You better make you some Gina Young style. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night.